For this demo, you need to first download and install a software called LM Studio. You can find the link to this software in the description of this video. So download and install it on your computer first. LM Studio is a desktop application for developing and experimenting with large language models locally on your computer. As you can see, I already installed and opened the software. The first time you open this software, you can either follow the onboarding tutorial or just skip it. Click here. As you can see, this user interface is very similar to ChatGPT. Here you type a question, and the large language model deployed locally on your own computer can answer the question. Unfortunately, right now, there's no model available. So let's click this Discover button. As you can see, here there are many free open source large language models. So here is QN from Alibaba, DeepSeek R1, a distilled version, Phi, which is an open source model from Microsoft, Llama is an open source model from Meta. Here, 32B means this model has 32 billion parameters. 8B means this model is smaller. It only has 8 billion parameters. And of course, the more parameters a model has, the more intelligent and smarter it is. But a larger language model needs more memory and compute to run. So here is a very simple rule of thumb. If you're using a laptop, I recommend you download a model that is less than or equal to 8B, that is 8 billion parameters. It is not a good idea to download and run Llama 3.3 model with 70 billion parameters on a regular or everyday laptop. It will be super slow. So in this case, Let's download this model, Llama 3.1, 8B, this one here. So let's click this. As you can see, it requires almost 5 gigabytes of memory. Let's click Download, and it will take a while to download the large language model. 2,000 years later. Okay, download is completed. Let's load this model into LM Studio. As you can see, here is loading. All right. Right now, as you can see, we only downloaded one model. And you can download multiple models, but at one time, you can only load one into LM Studio. Think of this model as a DVD. At one time, you can load only one DVD in a DVD drive. Okay, now let's test. Write a Python function to reverse a string. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty fast. This is the Python function, reverse string. And here is a different solution. Okay, and pay attention to this part here. The tokens per second is the speed at which a language model generates text. In this case, the performance is 53.37 tokens per second. You can roughly think about a token as a English word. The tokens per second of a large language model depends on, for example, the model size, hardware, and so on and so forth. So yours will be different from mine. But generally speaking, the higher, the better, right? If this number is pretty low, like 6 tokens per second or 5 tokens per second, 
That means you need a more powerful computer or use a smaller model like 7B, 5B, or even 3B. But remember, fewer parameters means less smarter. And here, there is an experimental feature is to attach a file to this message. So here you can attach a student's homework and then type in the instruction and a rubric. And here in this case, this open source Llama, not ChatGPT, will help you grade the homework and provide feedback. Let me remind you that this large language model runs on your own computer. It's not sending data to an external server. Let's go back to the slides. In the demo, I deployed Llama on my computer, but there are other popular open source large language models. For example, DeepSeek from HiFlyer, Phi from Microsoft, Qwen from Alibaba, Jamma from Google, Mistral from Mistral AI, Kimi from Moonshot AI, and more. I encourage you to explore those large language models and understand each model's strength and limitations. When you pick an open source large language model to deploy, in theory, the more parameters a model has, the more intelligent and smarter it is. However, a higher number of parameters requires higher hardware requirements. As a rule of thumb, if you are deploying a large language model on your computer, like a PC, a laptop, a MacBook Air, then I recommend you deploy a large language model that is between 7 to 8B. If you think the 7B or 8B model cannot help you solve your problem, then we need to use a larger model. For example, 70B or even 671B, which is the size of DeepSeek. However, for those models, regular PCs or laptops may not be able to load and execute them. You will need to purchase GPUs. For 70B models, I recommend you install at least two NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPUs, a MacBook Pro with M2 chip, and a 64 gigabyte unified memory can also run a 70B large language model. To run a 671B model, we will need even more powerful GPUs. In that case, you will need to build a professional server computer with multiple GPU setup. And I recommend you install 16 NVIDIA A100 GPUs. I don't think this is feasible for personal use. Your institution's AI center should have one professional server computer with this multi-GPU setup. Next, I want to briefly show you how I deployed a 70B model on a computer workstation with two NVIDIA GPUs. As you can see from this picture, I downloaded a 70B large language model on a professional computer workstation with two NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPUs. So the language model is running not on my own laptop, but on a powerful and beefy computer workstation, like this fancy machine in the picture. Then on my laptop, I installed a tool called Chatbox AI, which is a client software that can connect to a large language model that deployed on a computer workstation. And I can chat with this large language model through this Chatbox AI. Since most audience of this workshop are not computer scientists. Feel free to show this slide to your IT department or AI center and have them set up this for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps more students and researchers find this content. And if you want to keep learning about AI, ChatGPT, and how these tools can support your work, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video in this series. Thanks for watching.